here to share my experience of a second warning and the small thing about the tribulation. Before I had a first warning and was about the rapture, and right now I'm going to share about my experience on the tribulation. This was a dream I had last night, and another warning was first warning was found last year. Um, well, this is talk about the tribulation where we need to always be prepared for Jesus coming. We never know when we'll come, and if He didn't come to take us with Him, we could be all here on earth suffering. So, here I am to share about my second warning. Well, I started out in the school standing outside where all the school students were playing outside a playground. It's there from third grade to eighth grade. Normally, our school was split us uh, in different grades at different times, but I don't know this time, but just today, that day, we all were together the same day, but I was playing outside. Me and my brother, he was in third grade, I'm in third grade. Um, we were playing catch, and I'm just throwing the ball, he'd catch it, um, throw frisbee too. Um, then he accidentally threw it far away from my hand, and I couldn't reach it, so I went to go get it. So after I went to go get it, I came back to throw it back on our brother, and he was just frozen. I don't know why, but I said, um, yeah, mom, I got the ball. So I threw the ball at him to get his attention, but he didn't get, he didn't catch the ball. He stands still. So I took the frisbee in my hand and threw it, at, threw it at him. He still didn't get it. Then, and I saw, I caught his eye looking at the sky. I said, what are you looking at? I thought he was looking at the skies, but, in the clouds, but he wasn't. So when I looked up in the sky, I saw a big meter come rushing down the schoolyards. And I was like, oh my gosh, is that a meter coming down? So I took my brother, why are you just standing there? There's a meter. So I grabbed my brother, and we hid under the slide. We could have run, but I knew there's no way to run out, run away, because the meter was so big. It was big as a house, and there's no way to run, run, up, run away from that, because it's so big. So the only thing I could do was just hit and pray. So I just took my brother to pray, to be strong and ask God to protect us. So I hold my hands brighter, to close your eyes and pray, and then just bang, because I just heard a loud boom. And it was so loud, and it hit the ground already. I closed my eyes because I was frightened. And then after for a while, I opened my slowly. It was smoky, and there was fire surrounding me and my brother. And the slide was dripping. It was melting from the heat. So we, we got out because we didn't want to burn it. We didn't want to burn our skin. So we got out. There was fire all around us. The school building was burned, but I didn't saw other kids. Just fire all around us. And then nearby, not too nearby, but it's like a little bit far away, we saw a big pit, like a hole. We've never seen it in our school. We never saw a hole, so we, me and my brother went to go check it out. But it was so hot. We couldn't get near, but we just stayed a little bit far, but we still saw like still saw how it looked like inside. Inside the pit was a big meteor, and it was so big. And that's when I just woke up from a dream. The dream was mostly talking about the tribulation. Tribulation is when Jesus is coming, and that's when um, all the events come to take over the whole earth and take um, when Jesus is coming after that people will suffer a great experience and will be left behind in the rapture. Mm. Well, for tribulation, we'll never know when Jesus will come. So we need to be prepared for Jesus coming. We need to ask God to come in our lives and we will be reborn again. We'll never know if we don't have Jesus in our life, we won't be able to go to heaven with him. He won't be take, able to take us with him. We'll be experience all the bad, the bad things that will happen on earth in the future. We'll never know what happens, so that's why we need to be prepared and ask Jesus to come in our life. Only Jesus is the way. Only Jesus is the way because in John 14, 6 it says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So only Jesus is the way to go to heaven with him. So we can just escape this earth and live a peaceful life where there's no evil, no bad. There's peace there only. We could be there with Jesus. Without him, 
We won't leave peace for this. We'll leave have Jesus in our heart. We'll to repent from our sins and ask God to come in our hearts. Thank you for the phone. God bless. Thank God. Um, today, uh, my daughter, um, she had her second experience from God that gave her um, yesterday. She had dream on June 7th. Thank God that um, He blessed our family. And if you hear this message from my daughter, given from God, I ask you, my brother, sister, you need to check in yourself um, to turn back to God because He is the um, true God that who created us and who loved us, who gave us um, life. We need to know Him. We need to have a relationship with Him. We need to repent from our sin, our wicked way. A desire way. We need to come back to him because he is the way, the truth, and no other way. Only Jesus is the way. Only Jesus, the King, the Lord, and who created everything. And he will return soon, very soon. He said, and Peter, he said, he don't want anybody to perish. He want all the his creation to be saved, to be with him in heaven. He said also in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 was. Um, 16, he said, um, be holy because I am holy. He want, he want us to be holy. Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, he said, bless that who have pure heart that can see God. Who have pure heart can see him. If you don't out, without pure heart cannot see him because your heart is temple for Holy Spirit. You need to have pure heart. That's why when we have second chance right now, we need to repent from us and come back to Jesus. If you not accept Jesus yet, you need to accept Jesus. If you not repent yet, you need to repent. Because that's the only way to go to heaven. And you need to be born again to repent. And the spirit in your life, you need to accept Jesus Christ. Is your Savior, is your Lord, is your God. That's the only way. He is coming soon. He very is coming soon. We don't know or tomorrow or today or tonight. But he said in March, he said he come maybe at midnight, maybe at 3 o'clock, maybe in the morning. You don't know, but who appear, who watch over in, in their heart, be holy in their heart every time. That person can be with him in heaven. He don't want people to perish, go to hell. He want people to go to heaven. He created hell for the devil, for his agent, for, for the devil, for the Satan, not for the his image, but only for devil. But he said, who have hearted, who have a heart that against him, who don't believe Jesus, cannot go to heaven. Who only believe in Jesus can go to heaven. Who accept Jesus can go to heaven, can be with him in heaven. That's his message is, um, today that um, if, I, if you guys watch this, I hope that you have blessed from God and accept him. If you not accept him, and call us if you want to accept Jesus or come to our house to visit us if you need a pray. Our phone number is 704-394-8604. My cell phone number is 704-780-3071. That's my cell phone. If you want to accept Jesus Christ or you need pray or you need um, to talk to us, just call us. We need you um, to be blessed and we need you to be saved. We need you to go to, to heaven with Jesus. Oh, we love you, we pray for you, and whole world, I hope that whole world watch this and be blessed and accept Jesus Christ, to know Jesus Christ, that you, you Lord, your God, your Savior. And I thank you, may God bless you, and we love you. In Jesus' name.